hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is joshua matthew if you are old here welcome back if you are new here you are welcome so please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a fly like this using photoshop before any further ado let's get started now i'm going to press ctrl plus n using my keyboard then i'm going to select 4 by 4 inches then make sure your resolution is 300 then you click create okay now i'm going to copy this color code ctrl plus c then select a solid color then ctrl plus v to paste you can see the color here okay now the next thing now i'm going to draw before then i'm going to select a new layer then select your brush make sure you are using soft brush make sure you are using soft brush then when you go to general brushes then you will see soft round brush so you select it then i'm going to make it bigger like this then make sure this color is white then i'll click here two times then change it to overlay now i'm going to draw a rectangle okay in this rectangle now i'm going to duplicate it then i will turn off this one then i'm going to rotate it like this then reduce the size then you click ok then I can delete this one and make duplication of this one now ctrl plus j to duplicate it or you drag it over here to duplicate it Then hold your shift key while you drag it this way. Like this is okay. Then I'm going to apply this color on it. You copy again. Duplicate here. Ctrl plus V to paste. Now I'm going to duplicate it again. Ctrl plus J or you drag it over here. Then hold your shift key. It's okay this way. Then I'll change the color to white for identification. Now I'm going to scale it. I'm going to scale it out. okay like this now i'm going back to this one again then why i will scale it okay now the next thing again is to duplicate this one Then I'll make it like this. It's okay like this. Then I can change the color for the typification. It's 
so here what i will do now i'm going to hold my control key and click on this one then i'll click here then rasterize it select your eraser tool so make sure you are on this layer then increase uh, the size of your eraser then you can turn this one off to see what you are doing so now ctrl plus d to deselect all right so now go to this layer again then you rasterize this layer then hold your control key while you click on this layer then you erase it ctrl plus d to deselect so this is what we have okay now what i'm going to do now i'm going to draw a cycle hold your shift key to draw a perfect cycle then i'm going to apply this color here which is this Then I'll position this rent angle over here. Then I'm going to copy this color code. This color code is for this rent angle. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. okay so after then i'm going to wait now then i'm going to duplicate this one then drag it up here so here is the color then reduce the opacity to 93 then select the tool then you duplicate it then i'll bring it over here reduce the size then I'll move this one over here Then select the two layer again and you duplicate it. Then I'll take it over here. Reduce the size. Then I'll move this one over here. So now we have something like this. 
Then select this layer. Then drag this image to Photoshop. All right. Now I'm going to brighten this image. Go to image, select adjustment, then select brightness. Then 34 is okay. Then the constraints, I'll make it 6 is okay. Then you can scale it out. Then I'm going to rasterize the image. Then select your image nomic. Select um, portrait shot three. This way, I'm going to beautify the image. Then you click OK. Now right click, then select Great Clipping Mask. Now I'm going to select the image and I'll drag it this way. Then bring it down. Then scale it out this way. Then it's okay like this. All right. So the next thing I'm going to duplicate this one. Then drag it above the image. Then hold your shift key while you move it. All right. Then select turn off the fill color. Then apply white color to the stroke. Then increase the stroke size to six. Then I'm going to duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. Then hold down your shift key while you move it. Then I will have something like this. I'm going to select the two layer using my arrow key then to bring it forward. Alright, then I'm going to draw another cycle. Then here are the color code. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then reduce the opacity to 93. Then control J to duplicate it. Reduce the size. Then copy this color code.
then control plus v to paste then duplicate this one again reduce the size then come here to copy the color code control plus c control plus v to paste then use your arrow key then to move it okay then I'm going to bring this design element then I'll position this one over here Ctrl J to duplicate it then drag this one over here now select your test tool or press t using your keyboard then i'm going to copy this test ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste then the font i'm going to use here is nether board Then here is the font, nether board. Then I'll drag it to this position. Then scale it. So okay like this. Then I'm going to duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. Then go back to your test, copy your test. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then select this color code. Then Ctrl V to paste. I'm going to change the font to Brittany. Then turn this one off. Then scale it out. right so now i'm going to apply a drop shadow to this test here then i'm using multiply as my blend mode then the opacity is 52 then i'll leave the distance at 4 then the spread at 4 then leave the size at 13 then you click ok now hold your alt key then you select the infect and you drag it down here now i'm going to duplicate this test here ctrl plus j then drag it up and I'll move it over here. Select the test to highlight it. Then I'm going to copy this test here. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. 
then I'm going to change the font to Helvetica then make it bold then Ctrl J to duplicate this one then hold your shift key while you drag it then come over here to copy your text and select your text to highlight it then Ctrl plus V to paste then copy this color code then Ctrl plus V to paste then you scale it out okay so now select this rent angle here then go back to your drop shadow then apply this effect here so i'm not going to change it so that is it thank you so much for watching please if you like this video don't hesitate to subscribe then like and share Thank you so much.